all-knowing and all-powerful, starting with the elderly wolf uncle chapter 23. Airplanes. Laugh at. The blade flowed with a cold light, carrying a huge impact, streaking through the air, blowing gusts of wind. In the blink of an eye, the blade that glowed with cold light directly cut off the birthday boy's head, and endless blood splashed like a fountain. And the hot blood spilled on the ground and soaked the soil. The blade containing Yu Wei was inserted into the ground fiercely due to inertia before stopping. Bruce Wayne looked at the huge figure that suddenly froze, and a line of blood spread across his face. Subsequently, the birthday boy exposed half of his head in brain tissue and fell downwards to the ground, echoing in the silent streets. The blood sprayed from the fracture was steaming, and the sticky blood flowed all over his body, soaking him, leaving a pool of blood on the ground under his feet. Bang! In the next second, the huge body overwhelmed Bruce's body. A hum. Bruce struggled to get out from under the corpse and couldn't stop coughing loudly. Gordon in the building saw such a stunned scene, and then looked back at Chen Tian beside him, his eyes were full of shock. After a while, he subconsciously thought that the thin boy who came with Batman in front of him was most likely the murderer of the gangster. Barbara. Gordon realized this, pulled his daughter silently with a complicated face, and took a few steps back. Barbara, who was already immersed in fear, the fear on her face has not faded, and now seeing such a bloody scene, her weak heart has been greatly hit, standing in place and letting her father pull. Bruce downstairs also recovered a little, looking at the miserable birthday boy on the ground, and the whole kitchen knife that had sunk into the ground. I couldn't help but secretly scolded, this freak. Quote. Chen Tian did not care about their reactions, but looked at the entrance of the basement and said in a deep voice, you better go to the basement to see, I smell a strange smell in the basement. Quote. You're not supposed to be a werewolf, are you? Bruce Wayne was speechless, and thinking of his brutal fighting style seemed reasonable. Thinking about it, he came to the basement door and kicked the rusty iron door open. He did not question Chen Tian, after all, if the other party wanted to make a move, there was no need to make tricks. Bang! After the iron door was kicked open, a puff of dust was raised. The Gordon father and daughter also came over and looked warily at the entrance to the basement. You better be prepared. Chen Tian followed, and said slowly with a slight anger between his eyebrows. Hearsay. The three of them immediately realized that something might appear below, something that allowed them to subvert the three views, in fact, they had already guessed. Click. Bruce Wayne in front walked down first, and as soon as he got closer, an indescribable stench suddenly came to his face. The Gordon father and daughter were smoked by this smell. Chen Tian in the back made protective measures in advance and put on a mask to avoid the foul smell that hit. Fuck. Bruce covered his mouth and nose to endure the stench, walked inside the door, and turned on the basement light. Syllable. The lights come on to dispel the darkness. The brightness for a while made them squint, but when they saw the scene in front of them, their expressions instantly froze. Ah. Barbara let out a strange cry, covered her eyes, and her body trembled uncontrollably. This damn beast. Gordon's body trembled, his eyes were fierce, and he cursed loudly. In the basement of the abandoned building, under the light, countless girls' bodies were piled up there, because of the mountain of piles they couldn't count, some were just a mountain of corpses. Rao is Chen Tian's face suddenly cold when he has read the comics and is mentally prepared. After all, in comics, but just pictures. And only a small part of it was drawn, far from the impact of witnessing the scene with your own eyes. Chen Tian narrowed his eyes and swept his gaze over the pile of corpses in front of him, these corpses were all covered with scars on him, and few were complete. The girl who was pressed under the pile of corpses is estimated to be the first to be killed. The whole pile of corpses, the further below, the higher the degree of decay of the corpses, and the grey-yellow putrefaction juice continues to flow out from the pile of corpses. It's hell on earth. I, I'll let someone from the police department handle this. Gordon was silent for a long time and said slowly. His tone was full of self-remorse, and the entire Gotham police department was about it, because no one would ever deal with the birthday boy. Just because the black gestures behind him are huge. Let's go out first. Chen Tian glanced at Barbara, who was squatting on the ground and approaching the collapsed. Only then did Gordon react and reassure Barbara. Several people then left the basement of the abandoned building and went outside. The expressions on everyone's faces facing the night wind looked a little solemn, and the picture they saw in the basement just now still lingered. Gordon, how much do you know about birthday boys? Bruce asked in a serious tone towards Gordon. Gordon took a deep breath, his eyes complicated, my subordinates took the files of the Wayne couple's murder case in the archives. Quote. Then, tonight my daughter was kidnapped here by the birthday boy. Well, it seems that there is a reason why the Gotham police rarely care about super criminals. Chen Tian was indeed not satirizing Gordon. The reason why the detective didn't care about the super criminal in Gotham was because he was worried that his daughter would be implicated, and as a result, his righteous subordinates actually wanted to investigate the matter. Bruce, after Wayne listened, his eyes were extremely gloomy. Apparently, this matter is inseparable from Copot. I know what to do. He left this sentence, then raised his hand and shot the grappling hook towards the surrounding tall buildings, and the rope was tightened, and he rose off the ground. Then, it disappeared into the thick night. You, Gordon watched Batman leave, looked at Chen Tian, and stopped talking. He knew that the man in front of him was an extremely dangerous guy. I should go too, Chen Tian said casually, now that Batman has left, there's no need for him to linger too long. After leaving Gordon's line of sight, he uses dimensional teleportation and returns to the Marvel world. Tomorrow, it's time to go to the metropolis to find Dachau, but I don't know if the dimensional teleportation can be accurately located. Chen Tian Bian walked towards the single family villa of the Weir family, and suddenly thought that dimensional teleportation also had the ability to teleport. 
but he could not accurately teleport to the designated location. Unless you remember the coordinates, you can transmit accurately. That's why it was randomly teleported to Gotham. Chapter 30. S-H-I-E-L-D is eyeing Chen Tian. Wanda and Pete. At this time, the bustling Washington of the United States. A towering building stands out from the surrounding buildings. This is S-H-I-E-L-D's scattered wings mansion. Even at night, the building is brightly lit. It is inside the office near the top floor. The current director of S-H-I-E-L-D, Nick. Fury, looking at the picture on the monitor in front of him, his dark brows furrowed. He kept stroking the top of his egg-like head with his hand, and his expression became more and more gloomy and solemn. The content on the screen is the scene where Professor Charles lost control in the hotel that day. And everyone within a radius of 10 kilometers was incapacitated because of the sudden explosion of his ability. Charles, I didn't expect you to be alive. Nick, Fury's fingertips tapped lightly on the top of his smooth head and muttered with a serious expression. First chapter 